the three-way handshake works like this. The computer that is going to send or initiate communications with another computer will start off by actually transmitting out and saying to that other computer, hi, I would like to talk, right? I, I want to communicate with you. Here is the information that you need to know about me in order for us to have this communication. Part two of the three-way handshake is the other computer receiving that information and replying back, thank you, I got your information. Now here is the information you will need to know about me in order for us to have communication. And then the third part of this three-way handshake is the initial computer saying back to that, that other computer, okay, I got your information. So basically now that you have my information, I have yours, let's begin talking. Okay, and this takes place before any actual transmissions take place. In other words, each computer needs to go ahead and share its information with the other so that it knows exactly how to communicate and communicate effectively. And that is what makes it connection oriented. Now, another way of realizing that it is reliable is TCP also uses a send and acknowledge type system. Once the three-way handshake is done and we're actually communicating data, I will send you data and then you will reply back an acknowledgement saying, got it. I send you data, you say, got it. You send me data, I send you, got it. Okay, it's kind of like sending something certified mail. I, I put it in the mail, I send it certified. When you receive it, you sign for it. I get an acknowledgement back to me from the post office saying, this person did indeed get the communication and they signed for it and here's the proof. Whereas UDP, which is connection list, is like just using traditional first class mail. You stick it in the mailbox, you send it off, and you hope that they get it. There's no acknowledgement. Okay? And again, the reason why is because UDP is typically used more with a multicast or a broadcast type environment. Uh, one way of thinking about it is if you've ever seen like streaming media, streaming video or audio, like you go to a website and you're seeing a, a, a like go to a news website and you see their television broadcast, their news broadcast streaming across the internet, that's what's called a multicast, and it uses UDP. They're going to stream out that video broadcast, but they're not going to confirm with every single person who's subscribing to it and say, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? For every single packet of information. They're just going to put it out there and hope you do. And that's why sometimes the broadcast may lock up, right? Because your internet gets weak or whatever. No big deal. You might miss a few seconds of something somebody said, but then it just continues once it picks back up again. All right, so that's TCP versus UDP.